say yeah, yeah, yeah Look at that girl, ooh la la Meet me downstairs at the hotel bar Body like that, baby, oh my god If you got a friend, it's menage et toi And I can go on out, I won't stop I keep on hitting the right spot I put the gun in the whole stop Bang, bang, baby, I got ya Well, I gotta know Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel um, where today we're going to go through this, well one of my favourite looks actually. So I love the colour coral and I love peaches, so today that's exactly what I'm going to kind of be inspired by. So I'm going to take you through this really nice eye makeup look paired with a lovely sort of orangey peachy lip, um, so let's get started. Okay guys, so I've already got my base and my highlight and contour on, um, so we're going to go straight in with the eyes. I will pop down the products that I've used on my skin um, below. Start off with a paint pot um, from MAC, this is called Soft Ochre. So sometimes instead of an eyeshadow primer, I like to use these. They work in exactly the same way. The MAC paint pots do come in like a couple of different colours and shades. I've picked the soft ochre because it's got a little bit of a yellowy tone to it, which means it will brighten, help to brighten up my um, eyelids. I have put concealer on my eyelids though, so I always do that to get rid of any discoloration. So whatever concealer I use underneath my eyes, I will use also on the top. And then I'm going to go in with this. I'm literally just going to use my finger. It's really nice and creamy. And at the moment... All my nails are pretty much broken, we're going through that phase, you know that phase where you've had like your gel nails on for a while and then you get them taken off and then your nails just like, yeah, I need a break. So yeah, now with the paint pot, um, they do go on quite thick, so just be very, very sort of light handed, don't take too much. What I like about these paint pots is they really do make your eye makeup last, like for ages. With these they literally dry into like a really nice and matte finish which means you can just go straight in with your eyeshadows. So next up we're going to go in with our crease colour. So this is like our first colour that we're going to use. So I'm going to use a mix of Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadows today and MAC eyeshadows. To start off with we're going to use the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to use Burnt Orange which is just that shade over there. I'm going to use my uh, trusty 217 brush. Remember to always start off from the outer corner and then just work your way back and forth. It's my windscreen wiping action. And for anyone who doesn't know where your crease is, just in case you know, you're know you a newbie or you're watching me for the first time, it's literally that bit that just goes inside. So everyone's eye shape is different, your, everyone's crease will be different, but it's good to know where it is so that you know where you're putting your colours. The funny thing is, people always tend to like rush this step like especially when I'm like teaching makeup and I teach all my students and stuff they think that this step is like the quickest one and I'm like actually you know what blending your crease color does actually take you know it takes a minute to take the same shade underneath the eyes as well you can do it with the same brush or if you wanted to get like a smaller fluffy brush you could use that helps to kind of keep things balanced let's go in with our second crease color I'm gonna use something a little bit more orangey this time this is a MAC eyeshadow um, it's called red brick and I'm gonna use like a almost like a skinnier version of a 217 brush I like to use a kind of bigger fluffy one um, for like you know a larger area and then like a smaller skinnier fluffy one to like get right into the crease this brush is also really good for someone who feels like they've got maybe like a smaller eye space so I'm going to use that into the red brick and this is just going to help to bring out I guess a little bit more colour because I want this to kind of look a little bit more peachy a little bit more orangey so kind of really get that skinny brush in and allow that to just blend itself into the first crease color that you did. What this is doing guys is basically building like a graduation of color and that's why eye makeup looks so beautiful when you can get that blend. You only get that if you kind of take your time to build those shades up. And of course, don't forget to do the same thing at the bottom as well. And then what I do is I get my big fluffy brush, the one that I used for my first crease colour, and I'm just going to go over that to make sure that everything is nicely blended in. And guys, very important, when I blend, you're kind of not using your brush all over. I know it looks like it, but what you're actually doing is using the tip of the brush to like kind of like overlap the lines. Because if you used your brush like literally and just swabbed it like all over what you've done, you're pr pretty much going to mix the two colours together and sometimes that's why it looks as if you just haven't really blended. It just looks like, oh, where did all the colour go? Just use the tip of the brush and just go over those lines where you can see the two colours meeting and then that will blend the two together. Next up, we're ready for our eyelid colour. I'm going to go in with a really pretty sort of corally pinky shade, which is just there. This is called Expensive Pink, and again, it's from MAC 2. I'm just going to use a nice little flat brush, and I'm going to go in with this shade onto my eyelid. 
yeah, it has a really nice sort of really beautiful corally gold. Call it a corally gold. I think I basically just made that up, but you know, why not, hey? Why not? Remember, guys, when you're putting on your eyelid color, always pat this color on and you get a much better color payoff so i've deliberately left the inner corners of my eye and the outer corner i'll tell you why in a second okay so once that's done i'm going to go in with i call this like a darker corner color so basically just sort of like the color you're going to put on the outer edges i'm going to go in with a deeper orange tone from the modern renaissance palette this one is and it's i can never pronounce this real good real good anyone knows how to pronounce that um, drop me a message, real girl. Well, I'm gonna call it. Um, I like using my pencil brush. So this brush is 219 from MAC. And I like using a pencil brush because you can really sort of, you know, get into the outer corners. And almost fill in that little corner just there. So I'll show you that before I blend it in. But you can see just that kind of yeah, maybe call it a C shape, I guess. Back in the day, it used to be called a V shape. I remember when everyone used to be like, do that V on the outside corner. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys remember that as well, but you know, just that kind of C or V or whatever you want to call it, that little corner area. Once I've done that, I'm going to use my skinny fluffy brush again, and I'm just going to use that to blend. Now remember what I said about blending guys, you don't want to go over the whole thing just to wipe it off. So wherever you see the edges and the lines, you want to go over those, and that will create your perfect blend. But you want to get a clean blending brush and any edges and stuff that you can see, maybe you went a little bit too low or you went a bit too sort of like high with your crease colour earlier. Your clean blending brush is almost a bit like your eraser because, you know, mistakes happen guys. None of us are perfect, not even makeup artists. So I'm going to use uh, the same colour, um, that deeper orange, again just to go underneath. I'm just using my skinny fluffy brush now because um, I don't want to go too low down with this. So next up I'm going to go in with a second darker corner colour and I'm going to go in with quite a dark brown. This is called Embark. It's from, yeah, from MAC as well. I'm going to use the same pencil brush and I'm just going to go into that area. So probably not as big as when you did it the first time. So just with the second colour, just be a little bit more smaller. Almost like a smaller V shape, guys. Smaller V shape, smaller C shape. If anyone ha has any other like names that they call this, like let me know. I love naming stuff. I know it sounds really weird, but you know, whatever, whatever makes makeup easier, I guess. You know. So you sort of apply it like this, then you just get your skinny, fluffy brush, and you can start to just blend that in. So again, just go over any lines. And just keeping in mind, this is a smaller area, so it'll be a smaller movement. You know, don't go like this with your brush. Like, you know? <laughs> and then people wonder where the eyeshadow goes everywhere. It's quite a tiny little movement. You can see I'm not really moving much with my brush. I'm kind of just going over the little areas that need blending. And trust me, you'll notice a massive difference when you do that. I'm just going to get my pencil brush. And pretty much like whatever's left over of that brown, I'm just going to take it underneath my bottom lash line. I'm going to go in with the same highlighter that I used on my cheeks, which is the Oh Darling um, from MAC. I'm just going to use like a little kind of pointy fluffy brush. I'm going to pop this into the inner corners of my eyes. Now you can see the reason why I left the inner corners blank when I was doing my eyelid colour and the outer corners as well. I think it just adds that lovely little touch of glam. I'm going to use the same um, highlighter just underneath my eyebrow bone as well. So once that's done, I'm going to add on a little bit of eyeliner. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of... This is my little Kajal um, thing. Has anyone heard of Kajal? So Kajal is basically like almost like an eyeliner crayon type thing. You can get it in most sort of like um, Arab or Indian and Pakistani kind of like, you know, accessory or jewellery stores. So I'm just going to use this to add definition onto my eyelids. So I'm just going to keep it very, very close to my lashes. 
These are great because they're so soft. They just sort of glide on really nice and easily. So guys, you could use any kind of like soft pencil or if you're more comfortable with like black eyeshadow, you can use that with like an angle brush. I just don't think, you know, every eyeshadow look needs winged eyeliner. I think sometimes you can just let the, you know, eyeshadows do the talking. But if you wanted to add winged eyeliner to this, by all means, you definitely could do. So once I've done that, I'm just going to add on my lashes. And today I'm sticking still with my Huda Beauties. But I'm going to use Claudia. So Claudia's got this really nice kind of, like, I'll hold it up maybe a bit closer. No? No. That, the, camera didn't, the camera didn't want to do that. So once I've curled my lashes and put some mascara on them, I always do that before I apply my um, false lashes. I'm then going to go in with my Huda Beauty ones. You want to make sure you stick in the centre first, like so. At this point, if my eyelash basically flew off, this would be really bad. But you just want to make sure you stick in the centre first and then fix the corners. Lashes, like when you put lashes on, I swear like when you get nervous, so it must get really like hot. Oh, the same with winged eyeliner, it really brings out, you know, the sweat. <laughs> Not that that's a nice thing, but it does. I'm just lifting up my eyelash. Does anyone else do this trick? It's really good, I promise. Just like lift and press them, and I just make sure that they sit in place, or like sit correctly on top of your normal eyelashes. Trust me guys, you're gonna learn all sorts of weird tips and tricks with me, so keep watching. <laughs> I'm so cheesy. <laughs> Once I've got my lashes on, I'm going to just pop in some brown eyeliner in my waterline. You know, sometimes black can make your eyes feel or look quite um, closed and a little bit smaller. So anyone who wants to go for more of a, like a natural option, a brown pencil is a really good idea. I'm using one called Coffee from MAC. Okay, my love, so I've just popped on a lip pencil called Chicory, which is from MAC. It's really weird saying that. Chick Chicory. Chicory? Chicory? As you can see from this video, I don't know how to pronounce words, so I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah, it's a really lovely kind of peachy, orangey tone to it, especially for kind of Asian skin tone or warmer, any olive skin tones as well. I'm then gonna go over this with a lipstick called Ravishing, which is again, a little bit more orangey, a little bit more peachy from MAC. I'm gonna hurt this, if you can understand me like that. Uh, I'm gonna hurt this <laughs> on top. And then just to finish off, I am going to pop on this. This is one of my favourite glosses. It's from NYX. As you can see, it's a really bright orange. But when you mix it in with all of this, it just looks really nice. And I just pop this in the centre of my lip. Just to bring out that kind of brightness and that colour as well. I love NYX um, glosses. And then just mix it up. Like that. I love girls who um, will tell you if you've got lipstick on your teeth. I don't care if you're random, I don't care if I've never met you before. If you tell me I've got lipstick on my teeth, I will have so much love for you. I'm just like, oh, that's a girl's girl, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna stop with this gloss before I <laughs> overload. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. As always, my bloopers are coming up, so stay tuned. I do have a special gift for you guys before you leave. So for anyone who wants to know what it takes to make your perfect makeup kit, or if you've ever really wanted to know what it is that you need to have the perfect kind of makeup bag, then head on down to the link at the bottom where you can download your very own perfect makeup kit checklist. Absolutely free, so go ahead and click that link. It can maybe help you when you're going makeup shopping, or maybe if you're like kind of tidying up your makeup products at home, you can kind of use it to organize yourself, so enjoy that. And of course guys, I love hearing from you, so please feel free to contact me, drop me a DM, drop me an email if you've got any questions or you just fancy a chat. And as always guys, stay beautiful, stay you. I like contour, so and... Uh, sorry, just got itchy nose. Automatically it becomes a lot more ear like... Blah, blah. So a mix of Anastasia Biv blah, blah, blah. So to start off with, um, we're going to use the um, um, So Darling from MAC. So I'm just going to go in and cue in and cue. This one doesn't want to stick. 